India's COVID numbers are dropping again. The daily caseload has now come down to around 6,400. A week ago, it was over 7,000. The panic slightly dialed down, but the concern still very real. Because what we're seeing is not just a dip, it's a transition from one phase of the pandemic to another. A phase marked not by hospitalizations, but by mutations. Meet the new variants, NB.1.8.1 and XFG, or as scientists are calling them, Nimbus and Stratus. These variants are the reason behind the latest rise in cases. The good news? So far, hospitals are not overwhelmed. ICU admissions have been reported among high-risk groups. Experts call it a mini-wave, short, sharp and seasonal. But there's more to these variants than just numbers. Let's start with NB.1.8.1, or Nimbus. Discovered in early January 2025, Nimbus has already spread across most parts of Asia. By April, it accounted for nearly 11% of all sequenced COVID-19 cases. That's fast, because Nimbus doesn't hide, it attacks. It binds itself tightly to the ACE2 receptor in our cells, the very door SARS-CoV-2 uses to enter the body. In fact, it binds 2.5 times better than the LP.8.1 variant, the one that's currently dominant worldwide. In simpler terms, Nimbus isn't good at evading the immune system, but it is very good at infecting you quickly. Now let's take a look on Stratus, the stealthy one. Stratus, or XFG, behaves a little differently. It's a sneaky variant and it has growth advantage. It doesn't bind to human cells as effectively as Nimbus, but it's excellent at dodging immunity. It carries mutations that help it evade antibodies targeting the virus's spike protein. They think of Nimbus as the fast runner. Stratus is the master of disguise. One infects easily, the other escapes detection. Now let's talk symptoms. Both variants are causing something very specific and very painful. People infected with Nimbus or Stratus are reporting a sharp, stabbing pain in the back of the throat. Doctors are calling it the razor blade sensation. You try to swallow and it feels like glass scraping your throat. Accompanying this are familiar symptoms, fatigue, nasal congestion, mild fever and muscle aches. But there's something more. These variants are also hitting the gut. And patients are complaining of bloating, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, even constipation. Yes, gastrointestinal symptoms are back. A reminder that COVID-19 doesn't just stay in your lungs. But should you be worried? The short answer, not panicked, but definitely cautious. Right now, there's no data to suggest that Nimbus or Stratus cause more severe illness. Hospitalizations are low. Oxygen beds are not filling up. So why talk about this at all? Because COVID isn't done evolving. This isn't about alarm, it's about awareness. Every time the virus mutates, it teaches us something new. Nimbus is teaching us speed. Stratus is teaching us stealth, and both are quietly reminding us complacency is not an option, and COVID-19 vaccines continue to protect against severe illness, even with these new variants. Experts are urging one thing, stay up to date. If you're eligible for a booster, don't delay it. If you're experiencing symptoms, especially the razor blade throat, test, isolate and rest. This isn't 2020. We're no longer dealing with an unknown enemy. But that doesn't mean we've won. The virus is still changing. We need to adapt to not just with vaccines, but with vigilance. So the next time you read about a new variant, remember, the goal isn't fear. It's informed awareness. Track symptoms, test when needed. Mask if you're vulnerable and stay updated because viruses don't wait, but knowledge keeps us one step ahead. This was your health bulletin. If you found this useful, hit subscribe for latest update on health and science. Stay informed, stay well.